In this demonstration we're going to look at configuring server message block shares. The purpose of this is to give us a shared location where our users can store their data and access their data. We'll start by creating a SMB share by using Server Manager. Coming to Server Manager on my file server, we'll come to our file and storage services and then what we'll do is we'll come down to shares. Then within shares what we'll do is we'll come to tasks under shares and we'll create a new share. Then what it brings us into is it brings us into a wizard. So what we've got is we've got a number of different ways we can set our file shares. As you can see, if we click on any of these, it gives us a description of the file shares. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll go for the first one at the top here, SMB share, and then quick and select next. Then what we'll do is we'll go for our D drive and we'll select next. We then need to give the share a name. I'm going to call mine demo share and select next, but just before we select next, we can see where the files and folder will go. And then we can also as well see the remote path to the share, which will be backslash backslash lon hyphen svr1 backslash demo share. Just in the case of the other settings, what we're going to do at this point here is we will enable access based enumeration. And as it says at this point here, it displays only the files and folders that a user has permission to access. The user does not have read or equivalent for a folder. Windows will hide the folder from the user's view. I'm also going to leave allow caching of the share, but I'm not going to encrypt the data access, so we'll select next. Then what we've got is we've got permissions. So at this point here, what we could do is, as we can see, we can customize permissions to see exactly who will have access to this share. We'll just leave the defaults and select next. Quickly read through the confirmation and select create. And then select close. And then if we just come into Explorer, and within Explorer, if we just come up the top now, if we just do a backslash backslash, lon hyphen svr1 and then backslash we can see our demo shares popped up here so we'll close down file explorer now what we'll do is we'll create a smb file share by using windows powershell so at this point here we'll launch up powershell so the first thing we'll do here is we'll just create a new folder and we'll create that folder so that we can then share it out so we'll just clear the screen off I'm going to do that by using mkdir space d colon backslash shares backslash demo share 2. Then the next thing we'll do is we'll issue the commandlet to actually create the share. And the command I'm going to use for that is new hyphen smb share hyphen name demo share 2 hyphen path specified d colon backslash shares backslash demo share 2. Then we've done a hyphen folder enumeration mode will be access. And then what we'll do is we'll do that access based and then we'll just hit the enter key. And that has now created the share. So the next thing we'll do here is we'll just issue a command to just get information relating to the shares. And we'll do that by just issuing a get hyphen SMB share. So as we can see here, we can see a list of all of the shares. And then finally, what we'll do is we'll just get some information relating to the demo share. And we'll just issue get hyphen SMB share space demo share space pipe and then we'll format the list and we'll do it for everything. And as we can see, it now gives us all of the information relating to that file share. Last thing we'll do is we'll just use or we'll view the SMB session information. So the first thing I'm going to do at this point here is I'm just going to move over to one of my other machines and just connect through the file share. I've just come through one of my other machines. I'm just going to do a backslash backslash lon hyphen svr1 backslash and then we're going to connect through to at this point here demo share. So as we can see we're now in the share and all we'll do is we'll just create a new text document. We won't bother giving it a name. We'll just create something on there. Then what we'll do is we'll move back to our server machine. Then what we'll do is we'll just issue a command lit to get some session information. I'm going to issue a get hyphen smb session. As we can see, from computer 172.16.0.10, the client username is administrator, and we've got one open. At this point here, we'll just get some additional information. And we're just going to issue the command, like get hyphen smb session, hyphen client username, a date and backslash administrator, we'll pipe it, we'll format the list, and we want all the information. So at this point here, we can see all of the information relating to the session from our DATEM administrator on 172.16.0.10. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.